now in this video we can see what is the application of sandwich theorem now what is sandwich theorem let a n is less than or equal to b n is less than or equal to c n holds for n where sequence a n and b n and c n are the sequences and limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to limit n tends to infinity c n is equal to l then limit n tends to infinity b n is equal to l using this sandwich theorem we can solve some problems that is what is the value of limit n tends to infinity sin n divided by n we know that what is sin n always lies between minus 1 and plus 1 all values of sin n is greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to 1 because range of we know that what is range of sin sin n that is minus 1 to plus 1 so we can write it minus 1 is less than or equal to sin n is less than or equal to 1 now in the second step we can divide whole this inequality by n then minus 1 divided by n is less than or equal to sin n divided by n is less than or equal to 1 by n now they give that limit n tends to infinity sin n by n so if we apply limit n tends to infinity to whole inequality we get limit n tends to infinity of minus 1 divided by n is less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity sin n divided by n is less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n now what is limit n tends to infinity minus 1 divided by n that is equal to 0 and limit n tends to infinity sin n divided by n is less than or equal to what is limit n tends to infinity 1 by n that is equal to 0 if n becomes infinity then 1 by infinity is 0 so we get limit n tends to infinity sin n divided by n is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 0 what this what this means this means that this value becomes 0 so limit n tends to infinity sin n divided by n is equal to 0 this is by sandwich theorem what sandwich theorem says if limit n tends to infinity a n and is equal to limit n tends to infinity c n that is that is equal to l then limit what limit n tends to infinity b n is also equal to l here in the place of a n minus 1 by n and in the place of c n 1 by n in the place of b n sin n divided by n then what it becomes it becomes the the both are equal to 0 then limit n tends to infinity sin n divided by n also becomes 0 so this result we can get by using sandwich theorem if if there is cos m then what it becomes second problem is limit n tends to infinity cos n divided by n now we know that cos n is always less than or equal to plus 1 and greater than or equal to minus 1 range of cos n is also minus 1 to plus 1 if we divide whole the equation by uh, whole inequality by n then we get minus 1 by n is less than or equal to cos n divided by n is less than or equal to 1 by n now if we apply limit n tends to infinity what it becomes 
limit n tends to infinity minus 1 by n less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity cos n divided by n is less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n. Now limit n tends to infinity minus 1 by n is 0 and limit n tends to infinity cos n divided by n is less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n is always 0. So this is this value is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 0 by applying sandwich theorem if we apply sandwich theorem we get limit n tends to infinity cos n divided by n is equal to 0 because this becomes 0 this becomes 0 this lies between these two so it becomes all it also becomes 0 according to sandwich theorem and next problem is limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n now we know that always 1 by 2 raised to n is greater than or equal to 0 1 by 2 raised to n and 1 by 2 raised to n is less than or equal to 1 by n why because if we if n is equal to 1 what it becomes this becomes 1 by 2 and if n is equal to if n is equal to 1 then 1 by 2 raised to n becomes 1 by 2 what is 1 by n 1 by n is 1 so here 1 is greater than 1 by 1 1 by 1 is 1 what is 1 by 2 is less than 1 so 1 by 2 raised to n is less than or equal to 1 by n so this this is similarly this never becomes z this this is always greater than or equal to 0 if we apply many values then we get this inequalities now what is uh, if we apply limit n tends to infinity to this inequality then we get limit n tends to infinity 0 is less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2 raised to n and less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n both these values becomes 0 limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2 raised to n is less than or equal to 0 so this lies between 0 and 0 that means this becomes 0 according to sandwich theorem so limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2 raised to n is equal to 0 this is we get by applying sandwich theorem now fourth problem is limit n tends to infinity minus 1 raised to n divided by n now if we examine this then we can know that minus 1 by n is less than or equal to minus 1 raised to n divided by n is less than or equal to 1 by n so if we apply limit n tends to infinity to hold this inequality we get limit n tends to infinity minus 1 by n is less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity minus 1 raised to n divided by n is less than or equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n now these both values becomes 0 limit n tends to infinity minus 1 raised to n divided by n is less than or equal to 0 so this lies between 0 and 0 that means this value becomes 0 according to sandwich theorem 
सो फाइनल आंसर इस लिमिट एन टेंस टू इनफिनिटी माइनस वन रेस टू एन डिवाइडेड बाय एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सैंडविच थ्योरम